Here we demonstrate one of the most popular features of the simplest simulation engine, the ability to do an AC analysis on a full time domain nonlinear switching model of a DC to DC converter. In this example, we'll measure the Bode plot in a fashion similar to how we would do this measurement in the laboratory. We break the feedback loop in a, an appropriate place and inject a small AC signal. Then Simplis measures the time domain response of the system, increments the frequency, and measures the time domain response of the system again, and so forth, throughout the entire frequency range that is requested in the analysis. A very important consequence of being able to measure AC response in the time domain is that Simplis does not require the derivation of any averaged models. Rather, the time domain switching model that we would use for a step load transient analysis is the same model that we use for a Bode plot analysis. When measuring a Bode plot response, it is important to insert our small AC signal in an appropriate point in the feedback loop, where in one direction we see a very low AC impedance, and in the other direction we see a very high AC impedance. If we inject this signal in an inappropriate place, say here, where in both directions we see a high AC impedance, then we will get the same wrong answer as we do in the laboratory. In order to generate a Bode plot in Simplis, we first request an AC analysis and then we indicate the start frequency, stop frequency, and the number of frequency points per decade. As in any AC analysis, it is first critical that the system be in steady state. So all simplest AC analysis first begin with a POP or periodic operating point analysis and then perform in the time domain the AC analysis of the system. This is a particularly interesting circuit to study in this regard because the frequency of operation of this DC to DC converter depends on input voltage and output load current. So that as these operating parameters change, so does the switching frequency. This circuit behavior makes it exceedingly difficult to analyze this circuit using average modeling techniques. But as we can see here, this is something that Simplis handles quite nicely. Here we can see the gain and the phase of the system plotted versus frequency. We can see that the switching frequency of this converter is approximately 40 kilohertz, so that our meaningful results extend up to approximately half of that frequency. These results that are plotted here agree with laboratory measurements of this system within 2 dB.